All right, well, we are back to the present. <laughs> And today we are at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. Um, I decided to keep it kind of local today, but we're going to go in here and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, this booth right here is 40% off. And I noticed a few pieces as I was walking by. I've gotten some really great pieces out of here in the past. Um, but this piece right here, I don't know what it is, but I, I really like that. $57 and 50 cents, 40% off. I'm gonna have to get my calculator out on that one. <laughs> I just love the colors of that. I think they're beautiful. And then in the back, I notice there's also quite a bit of glass. We've got a stingray. A lot of crackle glass here. You can see the crackle glass up above. I think a lot of that is pilgrim glass. They do a lot with the crackle. This bird is interesting. It's got wire feet. All right. Oh, and a Jim, Jim Shore kitty cat. $20. Every time I find these in the thrift stores, they always have chips on them. <laughs> $34.50 is what we're looking at on this piece. And, um, I don't know, I feel like, oh, it is signed. Look at that. I don't know how I missed that the first time I picked it up. All right, well, I just love the colors on this so much. I think I'm gonna pay that. It's a beautiful piece of glass. I've got this piece here. I wonder if that's contemporary. I may have to, um, let's see. Oh, it is. Square nest. It kind of reminded me of a West Germany piece. I have a West Germany vase um, that's similar in design, but uh, it is a really nice piece. I'm going to move it over a little bit so nobody kicks it, but I think we'll pass on that because it is contemporary. All right, well, I was just walking by Kathy's paint area and I noticed this armoire back here. That is just absolutely stunning. Wow. I absolutely love that piece. I would have no room for it, but it's really nice. <laughs> she also has this, welcome friends. She's got some really nice furniture. And then this piece, which I'm sure she painted. She does such a wonderful job. What are those little creatures? <laughs> are they little um, finger puppets? Wooden finger puppets. Oh, those are adorable. <laughs> Super cute. wooden cat. I actually have one of those at the shop. It's probably two feet tall. I think that's from Indonesia. It's actually a pretty decent price on it too, but I already have one. Oh, look at this stangle. $65 for all of the stangle. A few dinner plates and serving pieces. That is a beautiful pattern. Those lamps are so much fun. <laughs> I think they're probably 1980s, but they're just really cool looking. And this bird. 
looks like it might be Swedish. Ten dollars on that. A little left in. I think this is a um, birthday. Yep, March birthday. I think five bucks. Oh, it's as is. Oh, she's missing a flower or something in her hands. That's a bummer. She's super cute though. Gotta be careful. I'm a little shaky because my coffee. All right, well this booth is 20% off. And I'm just loving this little lady. 43 on that, 20% off. She's adorable. And her wings are intact. It seems their wings are always broken. What is the price on this? It must be on underneath. Let's see. Um, $34 on that. Plus 20% off. I don't know. They're very adorable. Great for Christmas. I might consider that one. And I also noticed these little angels down here. Peek at the price. Maybe it's open in the back. Look at that, it is open. It looks like $22. Left in green dress angel. With her wings intact. <laughs> I somehow always miss when the wings are broken, so now I'm I have to make a mental note of it every time. How much is she? 22 and 20% off. Oh, let's see if we can get the other one out of here. There we go. She is also 22. Hmm. I don't know what it is lately, but I've just been obsessed with these little figurines. <laughs> I think they're great for Christmas, and um, I think we'll uh, we'll do that. We'll get both of them. All right. Well, I almost missed these two. Sixteen dollars for the pair. <laughs> I just love the cute little face. I think that's a good price, so we will take them with us as well. All right. So I think this will be about seven dollars off since it's 34. So we'll grab this as well. Let's stick it in here. And bring this stuff up front because that makes me a little nervous. All right, so I've spotted a few things that look interesting. The first being this guy right here, made in Japan. He's a figurine. What is that? Okay, I saw the yellow. I didn't know if it was glue residue, but I don't believe it is. This is just very curious. <laughs> He's $16, and um, I don't see any discounts in here. But um, this is not something I've ever seen before, so I, I usually get excited when I see things that are unique. So I think I'll grab this. And then what do we have here? Wow. Fortunately, it's got a chip on the stopper. Figure old decanter. Oh. Oh, that's only $25. So I think for $25, grab it. This piece down here is neat. This is not a pattern I've seen before. Purple carnival wool, $24. I don't think that that's Persian medallion. This is a really interesting, uh, interesting pattern. Hmm. How much was it? <laughs> 24 bucks check and see if there's any discounts on this booth because I don't know it's just not a pattern I've seen before 
All right, well, I'm not seeing any discounts here. I'm just not that confident about that piece, so I think I'm gonna pass on it. The face in there is beautiful, though. All right, what do they have here? It's Weller, $58. Weller Rose Bucket. That's a nice piece. I just don't know enough about Weller to know if that's a good deal or, I mean, I'm sure it's a good deal, but to know if it's worth it for resale. Oh my, okay. <laughs> it's 12, so it's just gonna keep going. Oops, I got a tag stuck on there. There. Is that two pieces? No, it's one piece. Okay. He's really sweet, he's 38. Orange piggy. That doll is something else. Glass eyes. Pink opalescent bowl. That is stunning. It's only eighteen dollars. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Fostoria heirloom. I wonder if it's Duncan Miller. I'm not really sure. Eighteen dollars. I feel like I could double my money on that. So I'm gonna stick it in here. I really like that piece. There's no damage to it either. I checked. <laughs> Look at the little birds. They kind of remind me of the pieces that we got out of Gus's uh, hoarder house. Pair of flying birds, eight dollars. The pieces we got out of there, though, they were made of ebony wood, and they were actually hair combs or hair picks. Those, I think, are a little too curved. They're only eight bucks. They're kind of neat. It's interesting to me that the hanger on the back is cardboard. I don't know about those. If they were the ebony wood birds, I would probably grab them because they sell pretty well. That's a pretty little dainty ashtray there. I believe this case is locked though. Is. So, I'm just too lazy, but it's really nice. <laughs> well, I was just admiring this piece of Fenton. It's turned up on its side, but that's just beautiful. I've got 175 on it, and I just don't know. I don't know that piece, but it's beautiful stretch glass, and it's purple. Check out some of these vintage sunglasses. Those are so much fun. Here we have an adorable music box. Wonder Wonderland, and it is Henri. I've got $19.99 on that. And unfortunately, there are no discounts, but I love this little boy. Obviously, he fell down while he was skiing, but he doesn't seem too bothered by it. I wonder if it works. It might not be wound. I don't think I'm going to fuss with it, though. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's perfect. <laughs> He's $22. There's no markings on the bottom. But look at him, I almost wonder if he's Italian. His spaghetti is throwing me off a little bit, but oh my gosh, I love him so much. Man, I wish there was a signature on that. $22. And I don't see any percentage off, and that's okay. For 22, yes please. Maybe I'll just carry him. <laughs> I 
appears as though this booth has expanded. And I like it. Look at this Anna Lee. I don't think I've ever seen a reindeer this big. Meredith, New Hampshire. So this is when they were still making them in the U.S. It's actually dated 1975 or 78. $32. He's actually in really good condition for being that age. A lot of the times I find the vintage ones and they're yellowing and torn and falling apart. Ooh, $32. I feel like that's a good price for it. He's got a little bit of damage on the inside of his leg, but I'm kind of, kind of wondering if, <laughs> if that cloth uh, saddle is original or not. Oh, he's got more. Okay. All right. I still, I still feel like 32 is a good price for that. I just don't know for resale. He's delightful. He must be Rudolph because he's got that red nose. Wow, look at this tree skirt. Oh my goodness, that's fabulous. Wow. 54, handmade, intricately cut Christmas tree skirt. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Thoughts of home. Hmm. 2007. Made in China. Wow, I would have thought that that was, uh, that was made by somebody. Well, obviously it was made by somebody, but I would not have thought that that was made in China. I thought that was vintage all day. Guess not. It's really beautiful, though. If we didn't already have a tree skirt, I would probably pick that up for me. Speaking of picking things up for me, those are some pretty ornaments. I think I'm going to grab these. We just decorated our tree last night, and the kids were like, why are all of our ornaments vintage? <laughs> because they're the best, of course. All right, so the question is, do you see what I see? First of all, I see 50% off, which I like. But this, this is amazing. 32 85 50% off. I've never seen one of these with an angel on it. Or maybe she's a fairy, I don't know. But that is just absolutely stunning. I love how bright and colorful it is. And these made in Mexico candlesticks, I've done very well with them and I see them at antique shops a lot of the times priced really high. So this is a good price in my opinion and I think we're gonna grab this. What do we have here? Wool for sale. Eldrith. Oh, I thought it was Eldrith and I was right. Beautiful redware. $29.95. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Eldrith redware. I don't know why, it's just a thing. I might have to pick that up. Then over here, what is this? Possibly for a candle. Also Eldrith, $24.95. Candle crock with hearts. I love that it has the lid. We've got the cow here. Which is the cow? $85 for the cow. I think that's a little out of my price range, but I think I'm gonna grab these two pieces and then come over here. Let's see what else we've got. I love this sheep bank. Now that one is not marked. $14.95. And we've got this redware bunny. Unfortunately, he's got some damage. Nold Forest Pottery, $28.95. If he didn't have the chip there on the ear, I'd probably grab him. But 
I think we're gonna grab the other pieces and start heading up to drop our stuff off because our, my basket's getting a little full and I'm still holding the owl. All right, well, I hate to do this to you guys, but we've been shopping for quite some time. I think I'm gonna end this video right here and we'll pick up tomorrow where we've left off. So I hope to see you then. So long. Before I forget, I wanted to let all of you know that this weekend, let's see what the dates are. You know what, I'll put the dates down below. This weekend is actually the open house for Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. So a lot of what you are seeing in the videos, the sales that are happening, are related to the open house that's happening this weekend. So I'll put the dates down below if you're in the area, if you feel like taking a little road trip and going to visit them, um, they will be having their open house. So um, on that note, I feel like it's time to end this video and I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.